One of my favorite memories of my grandfather is of him teaching me how to tell different types of trees apart. He really loved nature and I was interested in nature and so I was really happy to learn about trees from him. And since then, I have always really liked trees. Um, I like to know the difference between different types of trees. I like to know how they work, um, all of the different processes that are involved in their life cycles. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit of that with you today. And I'm gonna tell you how to tell different types of conifers apart, which is what my grandfather taught me the first time. He told me how to tell trees apart. And conifers are part of a division of trees called pinophyta. Um, sometimes it's called a phylum, sometimes it's called a division. And they include common trees like firs, spruces, and pines. And you may or may not know the difference between these types of trees. A lot of people just see a conifer and they think of it as a pine tree. So we're gonna learn about the difference between them. So there's actually a conifer behind me and we're gonna learn whether or not it's a pine tree. So let's take a closer look at the needles because that's how we're gonna tell. Okay, so here's a closer look at the needles on this tree. I can tell you it's not a pine tree because the needles are not in pairs. In a pine tree, the needles will be together in pairs. Since these needles are coming out um, just as single needles from the branch, I can tell you that this is a spruce tree. Now there are other trees where the needles come out as single needles, um, but these are very sharp needles. Um, they're actually squarish if you kind of try to rotate them in your fingers. They're not completely round and they're very stiff. So when my grandfather taught me about the different types of conifers, he taught me the three S's of spruces. And if I'm remembering these right, they are that spruce needles are sharp, square, and I think maybe stiff. Um, so that is the easiest way to tell if you are looking at a spruce. Now, it's also interesting to look at the cones of conifers. Um, they do generally have cones, which makes sense since they're called conifers. And spruce cones are very soft. Um, I mean, they may not seem super soft, but compared to pine cones, um, these are very soft and flexible. When spruces start to have new cones, sometimes they're this pink color, um, which is really quite pretty. If you look closely, uh, spruces have some really cool cones. Spruces generally have a very full shape. You can see this is a very big tree. Um, looks very healthy, lots of branches. Uh, so spruce trees are often, um, they often look more like Christmas trees than pine trees do, um, just because of their shape. Hopefully you can tell that this tree behind me is a lot different from the tree that we looked at first. You can see that the branches are a lot sparser. There's just less branches. The needles are a lot longer. So this is actually a pine tree, uh, which is in the genus Pinus. And let's take a closer look at the needles and see how they are different from spruce needles. Okay, so if we look at the needles of this pine tree, um, I'm not sure if you can see as well in this video, but the needles come in pairs and they're kind of paired together in these little sheaths. Um, and that's a uh, characteristic of pines always. The needles always come in pairs and, and it can be more than two. They can come in pairs or they can come in threes or even five sets of five needles. Um, so my grandpa taught me the three P's of pines and one of them is that they come in pairs. Um, I believe another one was that they were pointy and of course pine needles are pointy and I cannot remember what the third P is. Um, so if my grandpa ever watches this, he can let me know. But basically what you want to remember is that pine needles come in pairs. The cones of pine trees are a lot harder than spruce cones. Um, they're, they're just not soft. So that's another way to differentiate between pines and spruces is to look at the cones. So there's a lot of really interesting things about pine trees. 
Uh, first of all, they are some of the longest living trees in the world. They can live thousands and thousands of years depending on the species. Um, there's some bristlecone pines that live up to 4,000 years. Uh, pines also have a lot of uses. Uh, the inner bark of the pine is edible. I have never eaten it myself, but I know people do eat it. Supposedly it's high in vitamin C and vitamin A. Um, pine needles can be boiled and you can make a tea out of them. I have tried this. It is good. Don't go around and just take random pieces off of trees and eat them. That's not safe. Um, you don't want to just start eating things and poison yourself. Um, but those are some interesting uses for pine trees. And then of course, uh, some pine tree species produce pine nuts, which are delicious. This beautiful tree behind me is the third type of conifer we're going to learn to identify. And it's a fir tree in the genus Abiase. And they're beautiful trees. They make great Christmas trees. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so if we look at these needles, you can see that like a spruce, um, firs do not come in pairs. They come out just as single needles from the branch. However, these needles are different from spruce needles in that they are very flexible. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I can bend the needles without breaking them, which you can't do with the spruce. Um, so one of the three F's of firs is that they are flexible. The needles are flexible. Uh, they're also rather flat. And then I believe the third F was something like furrowed. So there's almost kind of like a, a line, sometimes like a white looking line on the underside of the needle. Um, so three F's of furs, flexible, flat, and furrowed. The general shape of the fur is kind of just like a classic, again, kind of Christmas tree shape. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about some different conifers that are common in our area. There are other conifers besides spruces and pines and firs. In fact, this bush in front of me is a juniper bush and this tree behind me is a cedar tree. And those are also both conifers. So if you're interested in this, you can explore and learn about a lot of other species that are part of this division. Um, but I hope that you can go out and look at the trees around in your area and start to notice that there are a lot of differences and a lot more variation in them than you might have thought before. And I hope this can give you a greater appreciation for the world around you.